So a moment new parents look forward to for nine long months, bringing a healthy baby home from the hospital. But for one Twin Cities woman, that moment sparked months of despair that ultimately led to her taking her own life. Tonight, her family shares her story with WCCO's Kim Johnson in hopes of helping other moms suffering from postpartum depression. She's an amazing woman. She just so much spunk and energy. Her energy comes alive in her pictures and her art. Stacy Godwalt, known by loved ones as an artist, always wanted to be a mom. She was extremely happy during her pregnancy. She and she had a good pregnancy, but after the baby was born, things went bad in a hurry. Trouble began less than a week after Stacy brought home her daughter Sage from the hospital. She couldn't sleep. She was always tired. She was always anxious. She had a lot of trouble feeding her for some reason. That was a, a really hard thing for her to do. Like a fish out of water with, with, with the baby, she didn't seem like she, 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 like she just didn't know what to do. Stacy sought help, enrolling in a class for new moms at HCMC. There's where she first admitted to a counselor to having thoughts of suicide. Doctors admitted her to the psychiatric ward where she was released a week later. Stacy went back to the new mom classes, but the depression continued, and before long, Stacy would be admitted again. She was going to jump off a bridge in downtown St. Paul and was found the police were called. Her parents say Stacy desperately wanted to get help. She spent a week at Regions and then transitioned to a group home. And she said, Mom, I'm tired of trying because she tried so many different programs and therapists. One night, Stacy didn't check in to the group home. Her parents' worst nightmare came true. And two police officers came up to the house and we knew. And he said, We found Stacy's car at a motel in St. Louis Park. And on the door of the motel, she had written a note that if you find this note to call her mom and dad. She was tired, she just couldn't take it anymore, and she, and she took her life. Her parents are proud of Stacy's fight to get help when some do not. Pregnancy and Postpartum Support Minnesota estimates 15 to 30 percent of new moms suffer from depression, but the number could be higher because some women are afraid to report it. Most moms are fearful that if I, if I talk to someone about this, what are they going to think of me? If I share this with my husband or with my partner, are they going to think I'm crazy and that the baby isn't safe with me? This postpartum depression is a real thing. Her daughter may never know her mom, but Stacy's parents want everyone to know her story. Don't keep your mouth shut and say everything's normal, I'm okay, even though I feel lousy. Tell somebody that you're having trouble and try to get help. Oftentimes, people with postpartum depression experience insomnia, loss of appetite, intense irritability, repeatedly going over thoughts, and difficulty bonding with the baby. There is help available. If you or anyone you know may be suffering from postpartum depression, find resources at WCCO.com. Anyone in need of help can call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 800-273-8255.